What's up guys, Brian here and I'm back again with another awesome video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to easily remove wrinkles from any clothes, be it a dress, a trouser, a shirt, whatever, using frequency separation in Photoshop. Let's begin. <laughs> Welcome to the magical world of Photoshop guys. This is the picture we'll be using for this tutorial. I shot it a few days ago and while I was retouching it, it just came to mind to share with you guys how to remove wrinkles from any outfit. We are going to use a plain color outfit here. This works very well on outfits without pattern. Outfits with pattern will be a little bit more stressful. So for this tutorial, we are going to use frequency separation. If you don't know what frequency separation is all about, I'm not going to explain it in this video, but I'll drop a link in the description section of this video to another video that explains everything about frequency separation and how to set it up. So in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to use it and also leave a link to an action in the description box that will create the frequency separation layers for you to use. So for this, we are going to use the frequency separation technique as I mentioned the clone stamp tool, the mixer brush tool, and the healing brush tool. So first thing you have to do is to duplicate the background layer just like that. You can press Ctrl J or Command J depending on if you are Mac on Windows. Then the next thing is the frequency separation itself. But before that, if you have any spot on the dress or anything, just remove it. Use your spot healing brush and just remove any spot that you have on the dress when you're done removing the spot or death or anything then you go on to the frequency separation so for the frequency separation i'm going to use the simple frequency separation i'm using an action here i'll leave a link to it in the description box of this video this one is not that complex so we are going to use the simple frequency separation now when you click on your action it will ask you to select the blur radius the blur radius is very important because because this is what will separate the texture from the from the color so you choose a blur that will blow out most of the wrinkles as you can see here 14 is a very good number don't take it overboard like this so make sure that it's around the number that the wrinkles are really blurred out so let's keep it at 14 as it was before as you can see most of the wrinkles are blurred out then click on ok and it will create the frequency separation stack so basically what we've done now is to separate the texture of the clothes from the color so we can play around with the colors without affecting the wrinkles and when we are done with um, smoothening the colors we we'll then work on the on the texture itself so now if you notice basically what makes a the wrinkles of a cloth look this way is when the cloth folds the shadow from the light will be cast on the dress and that is what will just create this wrinkle. So what we are going to do is to even out this color here to get rid of the shadows and then we'll fix the, the texture. So for that we are going to use the frequency separation. From that video when you watch it you know how to set up your frequency separation mixer brush. So I'm going to use the mixer brush tool. You can copy my settings here. Basically your flow is the most important thing here. So I always keep my flow at 24 when I'm retouching because even up to now I'm still not that great at working with higher number, higher flow number. So you can keep yours at 24, you can keep it at 30 anywhere you want to keep it. Then the brush size should be relative to the area you're brushing. So if you are trying to brush just this portion, you will make the brush size this way. So since this portion is large, I also use a big brush size. So I'll just do a two up and down motion up and down motion to even out the the colors here as you can see i'm evening out the the colors in the outfit i'm getting rid of the i'm getting rid of the shadow to make everything just plain blue so it's just a up and down brush motion Okay, I think we have done a decent job and that didn't even take up to one minute. We'll now go to the high frequency layer. And for the high frequency layer, we are going to use the clone stamp tool. This is the clone stamp tool. Just click on it or you press S on your keyboard. Opacity 100, flow 100. And then I'll just zoom in 
what you are going to do is you are going to click on the alternate or option key on your keyboard to sample an area that is not wrinkled like this area here just click on it once to sample then leave the alternate key and then brush over the point that the wrinkle on the texture is showing so i'm working on the high frequency layer here remember sample a good place then use it to remove the texture sample this place here and then i'll remove this texture As you can see it's doing a very decent job just sample and remove now if it's not perfect don't bother just do it get to a point that it's okay and then you make it perfect later so just remove it for now so I'll just remove all these wrinkles sample from a good point and then brush over the point that the wrinkle is showing in the texture so as you can see it's doing a decent job now at this point let me toggle the before and after this is before and this is after as you can see we've gotten rid of most of the wrinkles but some is still showing like it's not perfect so we'll go back to the low frequency and use the mixer brush tool to even out the the colors again now another thing i noticed is that if you use the a gaussian blur when you were setting up your frequency separation that was too low and some of the color is in the texture layer some of the texture is in the color layer what you could use to fix that is the healing brush tool here so you just click on it it just works similar to the clone stamp tool but it's just much better with colors so i'll just notice my up here it's current and below so set it to current and below then i'll sample a good layer and brush over that point and as you can see if there was any wrinkle in the color layer then it will be gone same thing you can use it on the high frequency layer too but make sure you change it from current time below to just current layer just smoothing it out as you can see it's doing a really good job really really good job so for this point let me just use my mixer brush and even it out a little bit more all right let's zoom out let me toggle the before and after that's before this is after you can continue playing around with it make it as nice as you want so what i'm going to do is also to remove this wrinkle here so I'll just use the mixer brush tool to even out the the color here to get rid of the shadow as I explained before. Then in the high frequency layer, I'll use my healing brush to remember current only when you're working on the high frequency and when you're working on the low frequency, you use the current and below. That's for the healing brush tool. So on that high frequency, I'll select a good portion and paint over it same thing with here you can do the same here another thing i notice is that if you are working with places with minimal or little wrinkle like this you can just use the mixer brush tool and it will be less obvious you don't have to clone stamp it out so you can just do that with any part of the dress that you want it's just that simple so high frequency i'm going to use the clone stamp tool the clone stamp tool and the healing brush to do almost the same thing so i use the two 
all the time without having to worry about it so like that we have healed it now as you can see this is really really good this is really really good but if you if you're a perfectionist you notice that here it kind of looks flat like it just looks straight when you are when a cloth is on someone you notice that some part of it will be highlighted and some will be in the shadow so you can use your dodge and burn to just add some depth to the image so let me just toggle the before and after again before after so i'll use my dodge and burn layer here i made a video on how to set up dodge and burn i explained everything about dodge and burn so i'm going to if you want to know about dodge and burn check the description box i'll leave a link to that video for the dodge since this leg is slightly raised there will be there will be highlights here and since this part is not protruding it will be darker so if we toggle the on retouch you notice that here there is highlight and here there is shadow so let me just replicate that i'll keep my flat one opacity 100 under the dodge i'll brush it to dodge i also brush it to dodge then burn i'll burn the middle because when you raise your leg this side will be highlighted here will be darker and here will be brighter same thing here i also okay make sure that your brush remember your foreground color should be white white reveals and black heights as you can see i was using black here which means that all the things i did here didn't show so i'll toggle to make sure that the white is in front remember flow has to be in one flow one then under bone i'll burn this portion then i'll also burn this portion under dodge i'll highlight it and also highlight here add small depth here and if i toggle the frequency separation on you notice that there is depth now so let me toggle the before and after there is dimension to the outfit it's a little bit much i think so let me reduce the opacity to like 30 or 40 something and now it will look more realistic it's not just flat plain dress dress is not always flat and plain observe it whenever you are wearing a cloth some parts will be highlighted and some will be in the shadow so that's it for this video guys thanks so much for watching if you have any question drop it down there in the comment section if you are new to this channel click on the subscribe button click on the bell icon next to it so that you'll be notified whenever i make any other awesome video just like this one thanks so much for watching and see you guys in the next one bye